Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gonta! Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. This group has been unstoppable. As regimented as a military unit, Imperium will beat you down with ruthless efficiency. It's actually kind of scary. They attack with clockwork timing and precision. Here comes Apollo Crews. A man who has evolved to his purest form. And his opponent from Benway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! A former United States champion, Won the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania, but Cruz was still struggling to find himself. Yeah, but now that Cruz has found himself, all of WWE is on notice. for Cruz to execute on his vision. Well, I just hope he can do that without bleeding from his eyes. Apollo Cruz fights for his family, fights to provide, and tonight, he no doubt will be fighting to win. One of the most impressive aspects of Cruz in the ring is his ability to adapt. Opponents might think they have him well scouted, but then he throws them for a curve. Yes, Saxton, couple that with his unrelenting focus on winning, and he is quite the dangerous competitor. Too bad he's in there with the aptly named ring general, Gunther. This man has chopped layers of skin off some of the toughest competitors in the world. There are few superstars who are as merciless as Gunther. You look at that man and there is nothing behind the eyes. He has that kind of aura, that, that presence, that can end a match before it even begins. Driven down face first. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Oh, saw it coming. And what's this manager looking for under the ring? He has no business down there. Oh my God, what an elbow. They're just toying with their opponent right now. Having fun at their expense. Cruz escapes the attack. Boom, did you hear the impact? And he wants nothing. Look out. And he goes into the ring. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not gonna provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Nothing fancy there, spinning Uranagi. Off into the pin. Two! He gets the shoulder up at two. Able to... Oh, he's waiting for it the whole time. 
His shoulder's up before a count of one. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Mistake made by Cruz. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, now it's roll up. And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. He's not even close to being done yet. There's some power behind that. These two going strike for strike, it seems. He's turning the tables. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Neither competitor is backing down. That pin attempt might have been a tad premature. Gunther has him lined up. Gunther with his opponent all the way up. A power bomb. Gunther might just have it. I think they've made it obvious that this is fun. It's over. All in a nice work. Here is your winner, Gunther. Gunther stands tall and gets the win. You have to think this was the only way Gunther planned for this match to end. The ring general standing over his opponent once again. The smoke is here. Ha <laughs> ha, party cups in hand, and we're all ready for a good time. Yeah, but make no mistake, AD is also ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Street Profits from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at 260 pounds, one half of the Tag Team Champions, Angel Dawkins! AD brings swag for days, a legit natural athlete and one of the very few men to hold NXT, Raw, and SmackDown Tag Gold. It's time to stir it up. The man behind the message. 
has arrived. And his opponent from Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. A man who can perform sneak attacks both physically and mentally. Tonight, Gacy looking to increase his influence. Yeah, but he has sinister intentions in mind, like indoctrinating all of WWE. Joe Gacy is definitely a man who likes to hear the sound of his own voice, but tonight he's going to have to let his actions in the ring do the talking. It wasn't all that long ago that Gacy was insincerely preaching inclusivity to his fellow superstars. Now he's all about being divisive, about creating a sense of separation and hostility in the locker room. No doubt about it, Byron. Joe Gacy is a dangerous young man. And he's got his hands full taking on Angelo Dawkins. Yeah, Saxton, Dawkins is no stranger to success. Angelo's putting the party plans aside because victory is all he has on his mind. Joe capitalizes on that misstep. Cross body. Goes into the pin. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. What's going to be the key for Angelo Dawkins if he wants to grab the win here tonight? Dawkins needs to utilize... No way! Getting back into the ring. Oh, God! That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Uh-oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! A bit of psychological warfare. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. And this might not have a pleasant ending. And he goes for the pin. And he manages to kick out in one. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Oh, close line. Saxton, he's running away. No. Oh, no! Brash decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Oh, yeah, Doc. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Into the corner now. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Quick exchange of counters there. The vendetta between these superstars has become so bitter that I'm almost afraid of what will happen here. Anything is possible when a rivalry gets this out of hand. Hopefully this is a chance for them. Here's the cover. Gets the shoulder up after one. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Very unique takedown from behind, transitioning smoothly, and look. Whoa, whoa, look at that. And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hold. A powerful suplex toss. Whoa. Up and around and down. Oh, my, what a splash. Just breaking down the opponent. Insulting. Dawkins with a spear. The victory party might not be far off after that powerhouse attack by Dawkins. Turning the table. 
Daniels there. Leg drop. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. That newfound edge Dawkins has certainly helped him get this result. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Tommaso Ciampa, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano! Ciampa. Gargano, two men who went to war in NXT and came out the other side as an even stronger team. They've made a bet together and against each other, and it's brought them as close as a team can be. Now we're about to see a new chapter in their history tonight. This is going to be fun, because here comes the Ninja Master, the Master of Martial Arts. And his opponent, representing the Alpha Academy from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! I consider myself lucky to have a victory over Tozawa. He is one tough competitor. So if I beat you, does that make me better than Tozawa? Akira Tozawa intensity redefined. Known as the stamina monster in his native Japan, this guy is as exciting to watch as the day is long. To 
Throughout his journey in professional wrestling, Johnny Gargano has faced his share of adversity. He's even said people bet on him to lose because of his size, because he maybe doesn't look the part of the typical WWE superstar. Being told no by so many people over and over has only hardened in the cover. Johnny Gargano forces the shoulder up. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. He moves just in time. Oh, driving the elbow. With the lariat. Jeez, oh, bad landing off the reverse Lana. The degree of difficulty for something like that can't be overstated. There is perhaps no superstar currently in WWE more synonymous with intense, high-quality matches than Johnny Gargano. They don't call him Johnny Wrestling for nothing, Cole, and you can bet he's going to stick with that and use it to take control in this match. Tossed into the corner. Able to interrupt the attack. Gets him with the counter. Johnny anticipated that. These competitors do not like each other, point blank. They've not just let the WWE Universe know that with their words, they've let them in the whole lot. And he goes for the pin! No, he pops the shoulder before three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. That catches Tozawa looking. Knife edge chop. Wicked drop kick. Ooh Despite giving his all, Gargano wasn't able to spare himself from harm there. Yeah, it's his up. Shoulders down. Raising the arm before one. Just powered out. Senton connects. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. From behind. Oh, a German suplex. Tazai was looking to leap off the top. Sky high. What? What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. Hoist it up, whipped over in a snap suplex. Elbow throw, saying not today. He may not be aware of the count, he's got to get back in. Super kick! There's just no denying Johnny Gargano. Uh, he never backs down from a fight. Deem this one a count out. This match ending by count out is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch.
Montez Ford is here, and he wants the smoke. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, one half of the Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford. It's about to go down, and Montez Ford is about to unleash his aggression. Corey, you agree, right? He's developed a sharper edge. He's improved his muscles. I completely agree, not to mention his insane athleticism. Montez Ford brings superhero movies to real life. Ford will drop you quick. He'll kiss the sky and leave you in total disbelief. Montez Ford walking in the rarefied air, holding tag team titles on every brand in WWE. Turning his swag on, Montez Ford is ready to impress. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak! This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Drew Gulak is highly skilled, probably simulated this match in WWE 2K a dozen times already. Well, it's just called analyzing the angles and having a plan in mind. Montez Ford out here ready to compete. Montez has definitely experienced a bit of a personality shift as of late, becoming more ruthless, more driven and focused. Some have said this is exactly the attitude he's been missing. We'll see if it pays off for him. And what can you say about Drew Gulak other than he's a man who has dedicated his entire life to mastering wrestling. He's a no-frills competitor who is all about substance in the ring. Even I have to admit, Gulak's knowledge of grappling is staggering. But it's that incredible mind for wrestling that makes him a constant threat to any superstar that crosses his path. Oh, oh, oh. DDT! Talk about devastation. Oh, my! <laughs> a big kick to the gut. The clubbing forearm. Yeah. Oh, Matt slam with some attitude. Uh-oh. Camel clutch lock. Camel clutch. Great way to break it. And Ford had it scouted. Looking at this matchup, what do you think could be that special X factor for Montez Ford? An unsung asset of Ford's is the guy's faith in himself. Can he do it here? That could have gone either way. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Sharp elbows to the body. Looking to fight his way out. He's got the answer for that one. I don't think there's any love lost here. Certainly seems that tensions are rising, Michael. I have a feeling we're only seeing the beginning, Byron. Oh, no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. How do you escape the abdominal stretch? Like that. longer than it has to. Yeah. Oh my, a jumping DDT! Absolutely.
absolutely planted. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, up a blockbuster. He's going for the pin. This could be it. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Montez Ford. Try as he might, Drew Gulak couldn't get the W tonight. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Here comes the Tower of Power, Dijak. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dijak! Dijak's a monster, a mercenary, ready to decimate any competitor. I wouldn't limit Dijak's destruction to who's in front of him. He's out here taking people out from all angles. Yeah, Dijak's throwing bullseyes on anybody he chooses. I personally hope the next target's on you, Saxton. Underneath the scowling face and immense stature, Dijak has an incredible intellect. It's also what makes him so dangerous. The anger that fuels him is compounded by his in-ring IQ. From dashing to demented, Cody Rhodes is here. A horrible fate for this formerly handsome young man. And his opponent from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes! You know, once upon a time, Cody called himself dashing. Now he's consumed with Ugliness. Yeah, he's even brought paper bags to the ring and demanded that fans and the crowd wear them. I'm surprised he hasn't made you wear one, Saxton. Well, if that was the case, you wouldn't hear me on commentary, Corey. I fail to see the problem there. Cody says he'll win tonight, or he will never show his face again. Is that a promise? I hope it is. The so-called undashing Cody Rhodes ready for action here. He's out to disfigure his opponent, just like he claims he was inside the ring. 
Cody believes the blessing of his dashing good looks was turned into a curse when his face got smashed in. But while Cody claims he's become a grotesque mockery of beauty, it's clear to see that's not really the case. Real or not, Cody has been lashing out against the world, claiming that everyone else's hideousness repulses him. Yeah, but Dijak thinks all eyes should be on him, though. And it's easy to see why. Just look at his mix of intense power, size, athleticism, and intelligence. Dijak stands out in a big way every time the bell rings. Wow, even Saxton gets it. Dijak is a true specimen, a true attraction. Feast your eyes indeed. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. And gets tossed back into the mat. Yeah. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. From the top. Elbow. Corey, you have to think Cody Rhodes has become a more dangerous competitor since he's become undashing. While I think his recent mutilation has given him extra fire, I think he's put a big target on himself. You can either focus on Cody's face and hope that throws him off his game, or you could stay away from that protective mask and focus your attacks at his more vulnerable areas. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Incoming! Big time power bomb! Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with a four. Cody clearly not the only one with something to prove in this fight. Oh, right in there. Oh, look at the torch of their opponent! Uh-oh, this isn't gonna be good! Waist lock applied and countered into an arm drag. I guess that's one way to incite your opponent. It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Snap married into position. Okay. And a twisting splash! Effective. The sheer force of that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Supernatural Ooh. power. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Off the rope, beautiful, all the way down to the outside. Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. When we talk about truly heated rivalries, this is exactly the level of intensity we mean. Yeah, these superstars have been eagerly awaiting this moment. This is their best chance yet to settle things once and for all. Insulting. Huh? Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. And he gets sent back into the ring. Jack applies the grip. We're going for a ride. High justice has been served from Dijak. Makes the cover. Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner, Dijak. Tough loss here for Cody Rhodes. We just witnessed a methodical thrashing from Dijak. We should be bowing to the display of power we just saw.
Sami Zayn is ready for a fight. And it is going to be a good one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! Listen to the energy in here for Sammy Zayn. Sammy never gives less than 100% in the ring. I do not envy the task at hand for this superstar. You are facing a man with all the momentum in the world in Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare is here. The son of a son of a plumber looking to continue the Rhodes legacy. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. This one's underway, and it seems like Sami Zayn is the crowd favorite here. That's no surprise, Michael. Sami has long been a favorite of the WWE Universe, but it has reached another level as of late, and it's brought his career to higher levels as well. Two decades into his career, Zayn is at his peak, and I think we're going to see him at his best in this match tonight. But he is standing across the ring from the American Nightmare. This is a man that has the WWE Universe fully behind him, who will fight until his last breath who has no problem standing up to the biggest guy in the yard and giving him everything he's got, even if it's to his own detriment. Cody toying with his opponent a little bit. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Oh, Zayn anticipated that. When you think of Cody Rhodes, you think of a lot of intangibles, natural ability, heart, the kinds of things you can't measure that will carry him through a match. All that and one more, Cole. Knowledge. He truly has been through it all, but in my mind, it's his experience that will end up putting the biggest gap between the American Nightmare and his opponent. Oh my goodness! I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. And he breaks the count quickly. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Super kick! Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Turning fire. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. He must have had that scouting. Playing possum. Shoulders down. Quick shoulder up. It is going to take a lot more to keep him down. 
Springboard off. Fighting back with a counter. And another counter. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Zane with a takedown. The coaching club. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Insults have been hurled both in person and online, but now they can finally settle things in the ring. It's been a long time coming, and the WWE Universe has been looking forward to it almost as eagerly as these superstars. Their rivalry certainly has turned this into a must-see match. And Rose wants more from his opponent. a bit let down that this is the way the match ended. Perhaps they should have tried to break the count at the end there. The following contest is a no-holds-barred match! And it is for the Worldwide Wrestling National Championship! Beware the silent man. Dexter Loomis should be in an asylum. Not an arena. Just the absolute nothingness when you look into Dexter's eyes. It's horrifying. There are sinister plans at work in this man's head right now.
I challenge you to find a more impressive young talent. Very skilled, but also very arrogant. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Introducing the challenger from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Worldwide Wrestling National This title has been widely talked about and become many superstars' main focus. And there's an argument to be made that defending the title is even harder than winning it, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. You've got your name in the history books. Now it's about what kind of legacy you're going to leave. And that comes down to how you respond to your challengers. Looking for a suplex slingshot style. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Ow! Lays a kick to the gut. Boom! They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and delivering nasty stops. The champion sending a message. There's no mercy here. Oh, and Loomis turns the tables. And that holds Theory back. match you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring you want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole delivers the knee shoulders down now is it enough to retain the championship and the champ only gets a count of one kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan Position here. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Uh oh. Able to reverse. 
Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. And no room for any of Theory's patented showboating after that. Yeah, Dexter just brought the fight to him. Another knee drop. The challenger looked unhinged with an absolutely uncorked attack on the champ there. Strikes with a kick. Oh, new champ. The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. He forces a break before the count of two. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. How are they going to hear after this match? You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. He takes control. He went right into that turnbuckle. Forearm to the kidneys! Oh. Overhead suplex. And he's taking this to the outside now. You know, I've always been curious about the versatility of shovels. He foiled that attempt. Not right, but effective. Theory expected that. Get his press! Hard for the champ to have any answers when endless strikes are being rained down on you. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. And Loom is proving just how devastating he really is there. Taking a sick pleasure in it, too. With this level of hostility, it was only a matter of time before we saw it reach this point. Yeah, Corey, the raw bitterness between them is almost palpable. Yeah. Oh, he creates some separation with power. Ooh. I don't know what they're looking for here. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh will definitely leave a welt. Oh! Theory's hopes are waning. Yeah, it is unsettling how Loomis has taken over. Ouch! And now look at Austin's face after that. Able to evade. Austin Theory hoisting him up. Brain buster across the knee. Theory showing what it looks like to be on top of the world and on top of your game. And he slides him back to the mat. For the win to retain the championship! He keeps it! What a title defense by Austin Theory. champion standing tall after this defense. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit.